and the occasional rest. Hello. Damn you, Quartermain! Thank you. It's just a damn shame I don't have any light spell. But I do think they take up a lot of magic as well, so... Speaking of magic potions... Mm -mm. Well, I know this is the right place, at least. And the ghost should be just ahead with the bow. Hello? There he is. Ah. Get away. Oh, no, no. Oh, fuck you. Oh, if there's one here, okay, huh? No. And here's match. Effect is first as well. Bone by the bow of Sewell Senepool. Get a real name. <clears throat> now there's only one thing remaining getting up and getting loot. Scam wall. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything over there, but yeah, I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know. Yeah. I ah, well. Back to Sunglomatur. <coughs> Speak traveler. I will, but not to you. You're uninteresting. You're like an anime character. Except that you're not as ugly. So, Outlander, have you completed the initiation right? This is my father's bone by the bow. Bow, blah, blah, Bow. You've completed the initiation right. I name you Valerian, clan friend of the Ashlanders. Keep my father's bow and bear it with honor. You are a friend of our tribe and may rest in any Yushilaku bed, but do not harm other tribe members or take their things. And now I will fulfill my other promise. Go to the wise woman's yacht, and Nivani Mesa shall examine you and test you against the marine prophecies. Now that you are a clan friend, I want to speak plainly. I find it hard to believe that you are a marine. You are an outlander, but Nevermarine comes to drive all outlands from Morrowind. How could an outlander be the incarnate? The great houses stole our lands and mocked us with false gods. The godless outlanders steal our lands and our dignity. The Neverine is the last hope the Ashlanders have. I will let no outlander steal this hope from us. These are serious words, Valerian. Words of life and death. I see honor and merit in you, and I'm proud to name you clan friend. But take what you say and do in the name of the Neverine. Now go question Nibani Mesa and learn all that she can tell you. Right. Well, now that you offered your bed to me, don't get any ideas. Wise guy. <coughs> Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. I don't say. Oh. Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. The scarab. <coughs> I think the scarab is the symbol of House Dagoth, the sixth house. It's strange it's out here. But Scarab is also a symbol for Lockhart. Hmm. Whatever. So, they've told me of you, Outlander. Or shall I say, clan friend. 
You are hard-headed and ignorant, but perhaps it is not your fault. My lord Ashkan says that you will ask me about the Neverwing prophecies. He also says I will test you against the Neverwing prophecies. I must do as my lord Ashkan says, so ask your questions and I will test you. There are many Neverwing prophecies, and they suggest many things. Aspect and uncertain parents, the moon and star, sleepers, seven curses, the curses bane, the prophecies of the stranger, the prophecies of the seven visions, the lost prophecies. Ask me of these things if you are patient, if you would be wise. Or if you are impatient to know, just ask, do I pass the test or never read prophecies? Go ahead, Lamanda. I am the wise woman. Ask your questions and I will answer. Alright. Well, that's just the same thing. Same thing. Is what if what you say is true, you are indeed born on a certain day of uncertain parents. This is the part of prophecy, but many have the same birthday and many are not sure of their parents. It is interesting, but it does not make you never read. <coughs> Legend says Indra will never have our families standard board and moon and star. <coughs> and never has armor and weapons board assigned this sign. Some say he bore a moon and star birthmark. Some say he has a magic ring mark with a moon and star. Or the same was born under a moon and star. In any case, I think the moon and star is the mark of the Neverine. And you do not have this mark, so you are not the Neverine. Rumors say that in the towns, mad cultists called sleepers are attacking people. Saying that Dagafer have awa has awakened and will drive the Outlanders from Orwind. Perhaps it is just a coincidence, but I think it's a sign of the Neverween. Not necessarily a sign that you are Neverween. Perhaps the time of Neverween has come, and you have come at the same time. This is not passing a test, but it may mean you have some part to play in the coming of the Neverween. It is another Ashlander prophecy of the Nerarine. It is called the Seven Curses of the Shamit. But I do not know it, and I know no one who does. It may be lost. Such things happen. A wise woman dies or f forgets, or a clan is wiped out. Perhaps someone knows, but it but is keeping its, its secret. Perhaps it is uh, in one of those many books of you settled people. I have heard that the dissident priests of the temple may have such books. Uh, seven curses. This is the best known of the Neverine prophecies, we call it the stranger. When earth is sundered and skies choke black, and sleepers serve the seven curses, to the hearth there comes a stranger, journeyed far neath moon and star. Thou stark born to sire uncertain, his aspects marks his certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him, prophets speak, but all deny. Uh, many trials make manifest, the stranger's fate, the curse is vain. Many touchstones try the stranger, many fail, but one remains. Nah. No, it's just the same. Uh, isn't that the... Was that the stranger? Oh, right. The full title of the prophecies this is Seven Visions of the Seven Trials of the Incarnate. Phew. Listen, and I will tell you the verses. What he puts his hand to, that shall be done. What is left undone, that shall be done. On a certain day to uncertain parents, incarnate moon and star are born. Neither blight nor age can harm him. Harm him. No. The curse of flesh before him flies. That's the corpus uh, blight. In caverns dark assurance I sees and marks to shine the moon and star. A stranger's hand a stranger's voice unites the houses, free halls call him at all. He honors blood of the tribe on alright. Oh, right. I get it. It skips two. Right. A stranger's hand uh, unites the Velafi. Four tribes call him Neverarine. He honors blood of the tribe on morn, she eats the sin and is reborn. Uh, his mercy frees the cursed, fog scars, binds the broken, redeems the mad. He speaks the law of Velaf's people, he speaks for their land and names them great. What does this prophecy mean? It tells us who Neverwing will be, and the trials he must undergo before he fulfills his destiny. Some parts I understand, some parts I do not. I will answer your questions as best I can, but I cannot pretend 
skyder han stand over Men det er sådan også bare præcis <clears throat> There are never been prophecies that have been lost Seven curses and others Some are forgotten, some hidden, some deliberately lost The wise women are the memory of the lovely people But it is a faulty memory and we are mortal And our knowledge dies with us What we hear that the descendant priests of the temple study our Neverarene prophecies and record them in books. Such written words never die. You must go to them and ask for these books and bring what you find to me.